Hello and welcome back to our sustainable journey. I'm Steve. Um, I want to show you what we did. <clears throat> so this area where the kids set up there, there's a slack line and there's a little ninja course thing over there. There's a chicken coop. Um, it's a pain to mow. So a lot of trees, a lot of roots, a lot of stumps. Um, I don't like mowing it. So what we did, because we have uh, cows, is we put up hot wire. So we, we ran it through, we pulled it down since, but we ran it through, um, there's holders on the trees. And we covered this whole area in, in hot wire because our cows are trained on the hot wire. And we let them eat it down and they did a great job. The downside is now there's a bunch of uh, cow patties in here. <laughs> See, there's one. So you have to be careful where you walk. But the chickens will make quick work of that because honestly, most of it's already started breaking down. It's only been about a week or two. And you can see this is what it looked like before. You see where the fence was. And uh, they made quick work of it. It only took them a week. And then we took the fence down and we moved them over into that pasture over there where they can start eating that. And we're leaving this. Uh, we don't want them over here yet. It's a lot of clover. And we want the bees to get that first. So once the clover dies off, we can move the cows over to this area. <clears throat> You can see they've started, uh, they're moving in paths and then like a weird, moving in sections. So they're leaving this one alone, those two alone, and they're going into that one. So we'll block them off from the other two, um, like we did over here. And they can uh, get that area down. So right now they're, they're chilling in the shade of their house. Because it's hot, it's like 90 degrees. It's ridiculous. But that goes all the way to those woods on the other side. So that'll take them probably a couple more weeks. There's a lot more grass over there. There's no obstructions. So they're just chilling. And you'll note that our chickens are not out right now. That's because we have a fox that has been eating our chickens. Um, so we locked him up for the next couple days until I can find the fox and relocate him underground somewhere. Um, because we, I, I don't want a fox. We've got too many chickens and the fox knows uh, where the chickens are and will continue coming back and taking them. He's been taking them off into those woods over there. Um, and eating them, and that's not cool. These chickens are for eggs, they're not for eating. So, we will be hunting him over the next couple of days to hopefully eliminate that threat for our, for our hens. Speaking of which, on last Friday, Last Friday, we were doing evening chores and we heard a cheeping noise. We thought it was something on the roof of the, the shed there. Um, sometimes branches will hit the metal or whatever. Um, but we kept hearing it, and so we started to investigate. And we found that one of our hens had laid a bunch of eggs off in the corner of the shed where we would never have gone. We don't go, it's it's more storage back there. Um, and she hatched them out. So now we have seven baby chicks. So there they all are. So we had to put her 
in the coop with the other chickens, or the smaller chickens, I guess, not the... Um, I'm looking for the last one. I don't know where number seven is. But um, our special needs coop, because we didn't want to put them in the barn with everybody else, because um, there is a pecking order. They will attack. And she's been really good about defending her babies. Um, but we didn't want them in the shed because of this whole fox thing. So we had to move them into here um, until they get a little bit bigger. And then we can move them all into the barn with all the other ones. But these ones aren't laying yet. These ones are still young. So now we have that to deal with. Um, and it was a it was a Friday or a, it was Thursday night is when we found them. We left them. We were able to relocate them Saturday um, because Friday is my big bucket swap compost day. Um, so we had to move them on Saturday morning to here because we couldn't do it before then. And they 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 made it. She hatched out seven babies. So it's pretty cool. So you're thinking to yourself, Steve, you have a few hundred birds. How do you know when a couple of them go missing? I will show you what it looks like when you lose a chicken. So, we are out. So there's the barn. Pile of feathers. Pile of feathers. Usually they grab them, snap their neck, and then they bury them somewhere. So you can see these piles of feathers. Um, Chickens lose feathers normally, but not in clumps like that. It's not normal. That's usually when they, they were they were ripped out of them. Um, and we know for a fact that we lost Blind Betty, who was one of our favorites, because she was blind in one eye, and that's probably why she got taken. Um, so she's out here somewhere, out here is the fox. So, need to set up a trail, trail cam and watch for this thing. Because I think any chicken that got close to this part, because they free range, some of them go out in the woods, and that's okay. But when there's a predator, he's going to get them. See, there's more piles of feathers. So it could also be, we have hawks and things like that around here as well, but the roosters are pretty good about defending against those. Um, and when that happens, uh, usually it's it's out in the open. Hawks don't usually go after things that are in the woods like this, a fox would. So, so yeah, we need to defend them because we've lost, this is two, so you can see there's black, the black one and a white one. And then Blind Betty was up near the house. So... Yeah, so that's been fun. Look at the piggy. Hello, piggy pig. And the other one, they're getting bigger. So we'll end on a positive note here. <clears throat> We've got their wallow. So they can cool off. They're super friendly. Hello. Hi. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you give me kisses? Hello. I am a pig. Yeah. 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 Hi. 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 Yeah. Oh. Who wouldn't want a pig? Right? They're super friendly. These guys are the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. You gonna say hi, too? Hi. See? Super friendly pigs. Right now. I mean, they're still small. Yeah, eat it. Oh, that feel good. Oh. Oh my goodness. There you go. Hopefully that's better. All right, we'll see you all next time.